Friends, we now bring you a technical session from Komori. It's going to be presented by Mr. Satoshi Mochida, who is the President and Chief Operating Officer of Komori Corporation. Mochida-san is 66 years of age and has graduated from Yamagata University. He has a bachelor's degree in the Faculty of Science. He joined Komori in 1975, has been the board director from 1995. In 1998, he became the executive managing director. In 2006, he became the senior managing director and the chief operating officer. 2013, he was the executive VP and CEO. And from 2014, he is the president and the chief operating officer. Mr. Satoshi Mochida is going to talk about the future of printing. He's going to talk about what Komori will do for us. And last but not least, he's going to talk about digital. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mochira San. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Iqbal San. I'm Satoshi Mochida, uh, President and CEO of Komori Corporation Japan. I'm honored to be here in Print Summit 2017. It's my great pleasure to be able to make a presentation to key persons in Indian uh, printing industry. I designed my uh, presentation in two parts to give you uh, insight into where the print is going in the future. And the second is how Komori is providing solution to resolve the challenge faced by the printer. <coughs> Let's begin with some market trend. The US market, where the printing market was shrinking and experienced tough situation among the developed countries after the Lehman shock, hit bottoms in the end of 19, uh, 2013, it's now on the track of gradually recovery. It is considered that US economy is a leading indicator for the world printing market. This means that print market is on the rise in the near future. Our key indicator one in, uh, key indicator is the increase in printed books. It was assumed that e-books will take over uh, printed books, but that has not happened. E-books continues to be having a market share about 20%. Direct Mirror had a threat from online marketing, but it continued to grow by 3% in the US market. Besides, American Big Sellers Association reported that number of books stores has increased around 20% in five years. I'm sure you will all be happy about this. We can read us a sign of the growth of paper. There is a report researching the effectiveness of paper and online AD by age. Even in the United States, where digital media is in widespread use all over the country, the results show that paper media attract more interest than online, contrary to experiences. Next, regarding the trend of global digital production printing market, printer's market, since 2012, it is expanding exponentially, especially inkjet printer market is growing. Its main reason is that electro photography has a technical limitation in terms of speed, sheet size, and cost that are generally demanded in the market. Next, I would like to introduce a companies who developed a growth models that could be a good reference for the uh, people in the printing industry. 
simplest groups is Nasdaq listed uh, Netherlands-based world's biggest web to print companies. In 2012, its turnover was around 1.8 billion US dollars and gross profit reached as high as 60%. Ten set of Komori GL840P 4x4 convertible perfect new press with HUV are running at the same press very smoothly. You might think that this company succeeded by taking advantage of the emerging web to print market or succeeded by M&A. But their real advantage comes from converting printing into a manufacturing process. Simplest Zorri employs so-called Toyota production systems, just-in-time systems, which is not tied with the com common sense of the printing industry. They boast very high productivity. Sales per head of their ma uh, main factory is reaching 2 million US dollars. Commodity efficiency technology such as KHS AI HUV is integrated factors in their production systems. But besides, they also developed workflow to optimize the productivity of offset and digital press. I believe that innovation can happen anywhere and so also in India. I look forward to someone become so successful so as to think of other additional 10 8 color presses as done by Simpress. Is that India is having the highest GDP growth rate currently? We feel that GST and demonetization reforms are strong steps taken in the right directions. Komori is thankful to the Indian print printers for making us the leading suppliers of offset presses in the last three years. We have been market leaders in all business segments of commercial printings, publishing and packaging, and having over 40% market shares consistently in the last three years. Komori thinks that printing companies have issues which can be sorted into four kinds. The first one is visualization of the business management, such as the cost visualization and the process rectifications. Second is cost minimization for maximize profit. The third is creation of the additional value to expanding business domain. The last, uh, the, the last one is retention of talent employees and development of human resources for realizing above items. We analyze that production data of the presses actually running at the printers. The results was shocking and show that actual production time is one third of total working hours. The challenge for printing company is how to increase the actual production times and increase profits accordingly. This pie chart is the summary of the of selective factors of offset press operations. There are three major factors. The first is machine condition, including printing materials and environment. The second is color matching. The third is machine operations and operating procedures. Komori is offering three kinds of solutions for the customers to improve productivity. The most important factors for the printers is the standardization, standardization of the process of production. The first one is K-support. K-support is a program to standardize the machines. 
The second is K supply. K supply is commodity brand printing materials and consumables to standardize the mach uh, make machine's operation conditions. The third is K color simulator. We can call it, we call it KCS for short. KCS, KCS2 is commodity brand color management matching systems. <coughs> We noticed that reason why actual production time is one third of total working hours are as follows. First, print production schedulings by conventional analog lead insufficiency. Second, wasting time due to lack of information sharing between the processes. Third is need long time for matching color between offset and proofer or digital since color management system is not introduced yet. Recently, the term IoT, Internet of Things, has gotten a lot of attention. As we all know, it represents then that any type of physical devices have network connect uh, connectivities. I think that we can apply IoT technologies as a solution for the challenges currently printing companies are facing. I think that the following functions and outcomes are expected to IoT technologies. First, collecting production information in real time and sorted it as data. Second, visualizing such data so that a bottleneck can be easily found. Third, by sharing such information within companies or some kind of group after uh, speci uh, specified the cause of uh, issues and found uh, solutions. Lastly, you can realize improvement of quality and productivity by processes, automations, and machine automations. We Komori is globally launching KP Connect, which is cloud-based uh, real-time MIS and uh, productivity solutions. It is supporting productivity and profitability growth by supplying optimi uh, optimal solutions based on the actual information of the machines. We are accelerating the development of technologies to keep up with challenge in the market. HUV is one of the example of outcomes. HUV system is innovative HUV curing systems with special UV lamp and high sensitivity UV ink developed by, uh, based on our know-how. This system has just one lamp in the goose neck of delivery for perfect curing. As a remarkable future are uh, economy and ecology due to quick dry, powder free, ozone less, less pow uh, power consumptions. Besides, various value added uh, application is also available just like conventional UV. Since Komori developed the innovation HUV systems in 2009, more than 800 presses were shipped with HUV systems to commercial and publishing printers who requires quick delivery. Besides recent HUV technologies, it is getting popular in packaging printers for high value added printings. HUV is highly praised for its quality and productivity around the world. In particular, in the emerging sector, such as packaging and added value printings, this on GX40 and GX44 RP, which realize high-speed perfecting printings at 16,500 RPH, with a state-of-the-art uh, state control systems for super short maturity and high productivity is well accepted. 
besides single side gripping perfect pr uh, printing systems with sheet turnover will reduce waste of sheet because of the no gripper margin in the tail edge. Customer can get significant benefit directly from such features. This on 37 A1 format press, compact size press, can handle the various kinds of printers need, including commercial, publishing, and packaging. This ROM 37 is the ideal machine for the Indian market since it is compact and can produce high quality product with eight up A4 and American data size uh, component in positions. Next, I would like to explain about our digital press. We launched IS29 and NS40 for digital sectors, and we are starting full-fledged business soon. The most characteristic feature of our digital press is that they, cannot, uh, they can print on any kind of substrate. They can print on the paper without pre-coatings. <coughs> Regarding printing systems, IS29 employs UV inkjet and NS40 employs water-based inkjet offset printing systems. Both are very unique and innovative printing technologies. With Komori's color management systems, offset press quality can be obtained easily. I would like to emphasize that Komori's digital press is de designed to match the need of quality printing companies of which are Manufacturer specialized digital press cannot support. It is important for the printing company to integrate these two kinds of printing machines in the near future. Meantime, to realize such integration, following three points shall be realized. Paper which can be printed by offset press can be used. Same quality and color can be re uh, reproduced. Integrated software to control digital and offset must be available. In the near future, Establishing the production systems by using the characteristics of each system will be getting more critical. <coughs> Middle and large size of our high value added pro product shall be pro uh, produced by offset press and small variable printings by digital. <coughs> Not only offset and digital printing technologies but also Komori has security printing business, business including banknote press, printed electronics business including innovative printing technologies for electrics device and so on. By maximizing the synergy among the business unit, Komori keep providing its own unique value added technologies to the customer. Before closing the speech, I would like to leave you with the following message. First, I would like to once again thank Indian printers in giving us so much love and affection, and we continue to strive to deliver beyond expectations, Kando. Second, we will continue to listen to our customers' opinions and bring products to suit their need. Third, lowest cost of ownership, high productivity, and best ROI is something that will continue to deliver. Fourth, it is ready to take the leap into digital printing, and we hope to share our success with you in the near future. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you very much.
And I want to you a small uh, testimony of our uh, uh, Indian customers by using Komori. In Drupa 2012 was my platform where I started exploring all the manufacturers. Hedelberg was well known with, with our family, but apart from Hedelberg, there, uh, there were other companies also, printing machines also. And where I could see a similarity of our requirement suiting more into Komori printing machine in terms of automation, in terms of our requirement, size, the uh, make ready procedure, so all that was getting covered in our requirement. Uh, uh, continuation with uh, what Kronal said, why we have gone for a Komori, though we are hardcore user of Hedelberg. Since day one, from our printing press, what we have started. Uh, few advantages also we have calculated uh, while doing this uh, exercise about the selecting of the machine, that is the recurring cost, power consumption, and daily cost about the consumables and all, which we felt is better as of today. And <clears throat> after sales service, uh, spares and everything was also getting at a better price. So we thought, let us go for a uh, Kamori, give one chance for us also to understand how this Japanese technology is. So we went for the Kamori. Now we are running this machine since last almost one year, almost one year. And we find that productivity as of today is good fast make ready fast change over and it's user friendly how much it will sustain the long run that we can give our uh, facts after using for certain number of years only as what as what i, I have seen and what i have understood from the kronal bhai or nitin bhai everything was on time and everything so far there is no issue as the time goes we will be able to tell you more and more about the komori as far as the Kamori is the first installation. Yeah. Uh, I would like to add some few words regarding Kamori Corporation as well as inside. We have learned one thing that uh, Kamori uh, specifically Japanese company, it definitely they abide by their words, they go by their words and we have learned so many good experience from Kamori team. And same with inside also, full support as, uh, as far as technology is concerned and installation also where they trained our people very well and we are really appreciate them. Whenever we require Japanese team also has come and supported us. So I would like to thank on behalf of our award team to Inside and Kamori for this. Keep, keep up Kamori, keep, keep up, up Inside. inside. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mujira san, for an excellent presentation. Yeah. And after such a heavyweight endorsement, I don't think anybody's going to doubt the affability of uh, uh, Komori. <laughs> when you try out a sushi or a Toyota car or a Komori machine, you don't really need to understand Japanese. Wo product apna kaam kar deta hai. So for all those who have any doubts on the Japanese, uh, the endorsement should be more than good enough. Uh, can I please invite uh, Nitin Bhai and Mr. Sangam Khanna on stage, please, to felicitate Mujira san. Sanjay bhai, please, you also come up on stage. Uh, thank you, Sanjay bhai. Uh, so, Sanjay bhai has got the uh, Komori scoreboard thing into 268. Thank you, Sanjay bhai.
दोस्तों वी नाउ कम टू अ स्पीकर हु वी आर ऑल ग्रेटली लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू सॉरी जस्ट ड्यूरिंग लंच अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल डिड टेल मी दैट दे द वीडियो दैट वॉज शोन बाय पुनीत दत्ता ऑफ कैन वॉज समथिंग दैट वॉज रियली नाइस एंड अ लॉट ऑफ दैम मिस्ट इट बिकॉज दे वर ट्राइंग टू फ्लड द टॉयलेट्स आउटसाइड सो फॉर देयर बेनिफिट कैन आई जस्ट रिक्वेस्ट मिस्टर पुनीत टू अलाउ अस टू पुट दैट वीडियो अगेन आई थिंक दैट वॉज रियली वेरी नाइस कैन वी हैव दैट वीडियो अगेन प्लीज थैंक यू The original industrial revolution was driven by the discovery that you could use steam engines to do all kinds of interesting things. That was followed by additional revolutions for electricity and computers and communications technology. We're now in the early stages of the fourth industrial revolution, which is bringing together digital, physical and biological systems. One of the features of this fourth industrial revolution is that it doesn't change what we are doing, but it changes us. We need a different economic model that will allow us to meet the basic needs of every human on the planet, and that will be focused not on growth per se, but on maximizing human well-being. We have energy technologies that can power our civilization, but how do we get it and implement it at the scale we need, at a price that people around the world can afford? If we're able to do something to transform cities, to make them more efficient, then the impact can be huge. We can use asset tracking, we can use IT, we can use 3D printing to decouple growth from the resource constraints we have. The question of adding quality to quantity, it's really about a diverse, safe, healthy and just world with clean air, clean water, clean energy. Together we are fighting to preserve our fragile climate from irreversible damage and devastation of unthinkable proportions. The prediction of 5 million jobs lost by 2020 to technology is serious, but the main question is how will we define work? How will we share the wealth? How can you have a doctor that really knows a lot about data? How can you have a biologist that knows about medicine? We have to create a space that enables people to think freely, to think divergent thoughts, to think creative thoughts. We really need a new education or new training. We're working with a world in motion in first robotics, trying to encourage the students from third grade all the way up through the end of high school to pursue science, math, and different technologies. It's this ability of digital technology to change outcomes, to truly empower people that can create a more equitable growth. Fourth industrial revolution has the potential to make inequalities visible and to make them less acceptable in the future. I was the first person in the world to be able to voluntarily move my legs while stepping in a robot. The cure will be possible if enough of the right people have the will to make it happen. We're seeing this incredibly exciting convergence of genome editing, DNA sequencing. Governments have a very important role to play in enabling the safe and effective use of technologies. We need to take responsibility at every level of society to adapt to these technological challenges which are redefining what it means to be completely embedded in this world. Even though we have everyday problems, we have to solve, we have to find a way to lay the foundations for the innovations of tomorrow.